Good afternoon, everyone. This is Tyler and Hudson, and we are bringing you 643 Pack Wars Tournament number 12. Thanks to everyone for participating. This is our Canada Day edition of the Pack Wars Tournament. Chuck is the champion from number 11, so Chuck won last week. He also took home the prize for Pack Wars Tournament of Champions last week. That was our first one. So for those of you that are new to Pack Wars, the way that it works is we're going to spread out all the packs for Series 2 from 15, 16, and 17, 18. You guys are going to go head-to-head -head against each other. The best hits move on to the next round, and uh, the winner at the end of the tournament is going to get to pick their own personal hobby box of SPX, OPG Platinum, or SP Game Used. So, in this tournament, we always start with the um, wild card bracket. The way that that works is throughout my regular breaks, everyone gets a chance to get satellite chances into this Pack Wars tournament. So we are going to randomize these names three times, and the top four names after three randomizations are going to get their way into this tournament for, and I'm calling them out. for free. So, let's randomize it once. Hudson will call out the top and the bottom for the first two. For Jensen at the top, Socrates at the bottom. Okay, randomization number two. All four kinds at the top, Sean at the bottom. And the official order, so the top four are... All four kinds, Leafs for Life, Shade Dog, and Mario4363. Okay, so we're going to go back here. Hudson, read those out for me one more time. All four kinds, Leafs for Life, Shade Dog, and Mario. Okay, Leafs for Life, All Shane. Then Mario. And Mario4363. So this is Wild Card 4, Wild Card 3. Wild card two and wild card one. Congratulations, you guys! So uh, there are a few new guys today. So I'm going to go over the rules. The way that it works is we are going to uh, open up the packs. Anyone who gets a Young Guns rookie card, that is a trump card. A regular Young Guns can only be beaten by anything above it. So a regular Young Guns can be beaten by a memorabilia, autograph, or numbered card. And then from there up, it goes Canvas Young Guns, Program of Excellence, Clear Cut, and so on. The top card that can be pulled is a Young Guns printing plate. There is one rule clarification that if a memorabilia, autograph, or numbered card is pulled against itself, like if we get one jersey card against one numbered card, um, that is not a Young Guns. We go to the lowest numbered base card to break the rules, or to break the, um, the tie. No exceptions there. That has only happened once in 12 tournaments. Uh, the reason for that is because I don't want to have to judge which jersey or patch card is better than a Young Gun, or than, better than an exclusives or what, what it, whatever it may be. So those are the rules. You'll kind of see how it goes as we go along. We have a couple of bounty bonuses associated with this break. Jersey or um, Jet. So first of all, the first person to get a jersey card in this break will win the jersey bounty, and that is two satellite spots. So one satellite into the next tournament, and one satellite into the tournament of champions. And the first person to get a Jets hit will, will earn a free spot into a box of 1617 Upper Deck Black. Justin is live watching in the chat. He says, hi, Hudson. Hey. So, we're going to start off. Uh, Jack got both satellite chances into this tournament and into the Tournament of Champions. Hudson and I, Hudson and I are wearing our, um, our uh, All-Star t-shirts. Uh, and we just back, got back from Canada. Well, yesterday was Canada Day, and I got a big load of candy. Yeah, okay, in the candy toss. So, Hudson's got Crosby on the back of his t-shirt. I've got Hellebuck, and we are ready to go. So, we're going to start off by um, shuffling up these, or set, placing all the uh, cards. So Hudson, do you want Series 2 this time, or do you want 15-16 uh, or 17-18? I will take... seventeen eighteen. Okay, so seventeen eighteen on the east side. Open these up, and Hudson can start um, laying them out. What should we have for the final this time, Hudson? 15-16 or 17-18? 17, 18. Okay. So you can put those in the final right away. 
Here's some garbage for you. I'll lay out all the 15, 16. Oh yeah, I'm not supposed to do this one. Right. Yeah, there's one bracket over there that's actually just for the Tournament of Champions, so we won't use that. Here's some more garbage if you want to throw that out right away. Hey Dad. Yep. Whatever race, who can lay out all of their cards first? Sure. You are fast, Dad. Done. Oh, I have to lay out. Oh. You have to... You have two extra? Yeah. Okay, so the two extra are going to go into the wild card spots. So series two against series two. Series... Or 15, 16. Okay, so we've got them all laid out. Hudson will take care of the garbage there. Chuck is... Our... Um, will not defend... Oh, he's got one chance to defend his championship. He does not have a regular spot, but he does have a wild card. So he has a chance to defend it. So on these cards we have the names of all the participants who are in this break. I'm going to shuffle these around and hand them to Hudson to start laying on the east side. Yeah. Okay Hud, so the first bracket starting at the top we've got Edvet69 Edvet. against Harveg or Harv G. Then we've got Johnny Canuck Brian. Hey Johnny. Is against Sean 1989. Welcome here, Sean. Then we've got Sean once again. <laughs> He's up against Bummer Boy, two time two time Pack Wars champion. Then we've got Bummer Boy once again. He's up against Shane Dog. Then we've got Shane Dog. Up against Shane Dog. <laughs> Three Shane Dogs in a row. Then we've got Soccer Taz. And finishing it off on the east side is Soccer Taz. <laughs> Here, so. There's two um, things against each other. Yep. Over on the west side, we've got Bummer Boy on top. Me. Against Justin A. Daddy, can I go then we've got Leafs for Life. Yep. Against Shane what Dog. Then we've got 643 Rookie, Gary E. Welcome to the tournament, Gary. His first time, and he's facing off against himself, so he's going to automatically punch his ticket to the next round. That's weird. Then we've got 4 Jensen against 4 Jensen. That's happening a lot today. Then we've got Bummer Boy against Bummer Boy. And Bummer Boy is going to face the winner of the wild card. <laughs> It's so, so weird. We are going to start on the wild card spots to see who gets to get into the tournament. And remember the way that this works is if you win your round, you automatically secure those cards or those hits. So those are going to be shipped to you. And if you do not advance past the first round, so if you fail to make it out of the first round, you are going to get an automatic free satellite chance into the next tournament. Just like these guys had over here on the wild card bracket. Yeah. So we're going to start off with all four kinds against Leafs for Life. I usually never go into your regular box breaks anymore. Right. Okay, so Why? all four kinds. You've got a Linus Allmark Young Guns. Why, so that's going to be a good chance for Chuck to move on to the next round. Leafs for Life is going to try and beat that with a better than a Young Guns. He's got a canvas, but it's a regular canvas of Alex Ovechkin. So all four kinds is going to move to the next round. He has secured the Young Guns and the Ovechkin canvas. Next up we've got Shane Dog against Mario. But Dad, why don't I be in the regular I think you're usually in bed. So Shane Dog, you've got yourself a Kevin Shattenkirk OPG retro card. So Mario can get a Young Guns to advance to the next round. If we don't have a Young Guns, or better, if it's a regular hit against each other, then the winner is going to be the lowest numbered base card. So Mario has an OPG rookie of Nathan Walker. So we're going to have to go to base cards. So starting with Mario, he's got a good one right off the hop, 258 
and as low as it goes in in series two is 250 so that's going to be tough to beat got a 360 a 285 so 258 for mario and then for shane dog he's got a nothing lower nothing in the twos so his lowest is 313 so that means that mario is going to move on to the next round i thought it was 285 to face all four kinds here's the base card hudson so all four kinds first of all the winner of this will move into spot 24 of the tournament and chuck has a mike green opg update card mario 4363 will try to beat that and he has a stanislav galia rookie upper deck portraits and so we're gonna have to do base cards for the second time here mario has a 288 a 260 260 is as low as it gets for Mario. Then for all four kinds, shh, for all four kinds, he's got a 291 and a 265, so not quite low enough. So that means that Mario is into the regular tournament. Congratulations, Mario. He'll take all those hits along with him. And let's start. Where's that? Oh, that's a garbage. Yeah. So let's start on the east side this time. Here's a reminder of all the spots in the East. Shane Dog has a couple, Bummer Boy has a couple, Sean, Johnny Canuck, Harvey, and Ed Vett. So we're starting off with Ed Vett against Harv. Good luck, you guys. Harv G. Still waiting for our first Jets hit. So this is for Ed Vett. He's got a canvas of Jimmy Howard. And base cards, Harv G, needs a Young Guns to win the round. Harv has a marquee rookie of Nolan Patrick, that's a nice card, but not a Young Gun, so we're going to go to base cards. So Harv is first, he's got a good one to start, it is a 256 of Ryan Miller, 254 even better of Cogliano, 254 for Harv, Ed Vett has a 300. A 276, and that's as low as it gets for Ed Vett. So Harv, you are our first regular round winner. On to the next round. Ed Vett is going to get a satellite chance into the next tournament for not being able to advance. Next up, we've got Johnny Canuck against Sean, 1989. Brian has himself a Andres Bork Upper Deck Portraits card. Sean 1989, looking to get a Young Guns. We're due for a, for a 1718 Young Guns, and it looks like he does have one. Alex Nechovic for the Wash or Carolina Hurricanes. So Sean gets the Young Guns. That'll move him on to the next round. Next up, we have Sean against Bummer Boy. Sean's got a upper deck canvas of Derek Stepan. Bummer Boy. Jack has a OPG rookie of Winnipeg's own Madison Bowie for the Washington Capitals. Bummer Boy's base cards against Sean 1989. We've got a 348, a 315. And a 271, Ryan O'Reilly, the newest member of the St. Louis Blues. So Bummer Boy has a 271. Sean, 1989, has a 281. And that's the lowest card for Sean. So 281 is as low as it gets for Sean. So Jack, you are on to the next round to face Harv and Sean in the triple threat match next round. Next up, we have Shane Dog against Bummer Boy. Hey, Jack, welcome to the chat. Do you want to go check the chat, Hudson? Okay. Bummer Boy is first against Shane Dog. What does Bummer Boy say? Like, I'm tired, Hudson. Hey, Jack. So Bummer Boy's got a Young Guns of Oscar Fettenberg. It's going to be... Oh, nice. So Jack is a... He always goes to the Erie Otters games. They're a junior team. So I guess Ryan O'Reilly was the Erie Otter. 
So Shane Dog, if, if Shane Dog pulls a regular Young Guns, then the rules to break the tie are the lowest numbered Young Gun. Oh, that's high time, that's in high time, that's in play. Why does this computer... Shane Dog has Alex Kerfoot, and Jack's Young Guns is going to defeat Shane Dog in that round. But I can guarantee that Shane Dog moves on to the next round in this bracket because he is facing himself. So he's going to get all the hits from both of these packs. So Shane Dog is going to get any hits from these two packs. And the first one is an Alex Iafolo marquee rookie for the Kings. And he's. Well, it's Shane Dog against Shane Dog. And he's also got a canvas of the bread man, our Timmy Panarin. Who's bread man? So Shane moves on to the next round. He also gets an extra satellite chance because his spot was technically also defeated. We've got another own matchup here, Soccer Taz against Soccer Taz. So Jeremy, thanks for participating in the break. Jeremy, you've got yourself an Alex Kerfoot Upper Deck Portraits card. Did we just have an Alex Kerfoot hit? Yeah, we just had an OPG. Whoa. Jeremy, you're also going to get a base pack. Boo. But thankfully the base pack was not against somebody else. You get to move on anyway. You're lucky. All right, so that sets up our triple threats match for the matches for the east on that side. Now over to the west. We're going to start with Bummer Boy against Justin A. And on this side, there's going to be a lot of anyone against themselves. Yeah, so Bummer Boy first. What if this triple threat is all Bummer Boy? Jack, you've got a Brady Sky Young Guns rookie for the New York Rangers. So Justin is going to have to pull a Young Guns or better. This will be a good time for a jersey card. Yeah. I don't think it's a jersey. He's got a, oh, this is nice, an Upper Deck Portraits of Jack Eichel. But that is beaten by the Brady Sky, so Bummer Boy is going to take that round from Justin. Was that Brady, Brady Sky like a Young Guns? Yeah. Oh. Next up, we've got Leafs for Life against Shane Dog. So Mike is going to start it off. Mike has a Radic Fox uh, rookie card, but it is an OPG. Shane Dog looking to advance with the Young Guns. Shane has a Joel Edmondson rookie from OPG. When we have visitors, we'll have to take this tape off. Yeah. Because so, Shane Dog, lowest base card. You've got a nice one, 264 of Matt Bolesky. So 264 for Shane Dog. Then for Leafs for Life, he's got a 340. He's got a checklist of 450. He's got a 255 of Jacob Silverberg. So that means that Leafs for Life 255 beats the 264. He moves on to the next round to face Jack. Next up, we've got 643 Pack Wars rookie Gary E against himself. Gary is happy to be on the Series 2 side for 1516 because he is desperately chasing a Jack Eichel Young Guns. Let's see if we can make his wish come true here with an Eichel. Oh, it looks is like he a, in the chat? It looks like a uh, rainbow foil OPG, and that is of Linus Allmark. Can so I that, see? that'll be going to Gary. And let's see his other hit. And on the other side for Gary, we've got. Yeah, what if he was against the Subway Gary's got it is a young guns it is of Peter Straka for the yeah. Philadelphia Flyers so Gary moves on to the next round he's also got a satellite chance into the next tournament at least he got a young guns and a rainbow thing next up we have four Jensen against four Jensen Dad, you should give one of your guys a all right, so for Jensen, first of all, he's got an OPG of Jonas Kempinen. And in his second pack, Let's move him up. he's got a, oh, nice, 
a Young Guns Canvas of Brock McGinn. It's always nice to pull a Young Guns Canvas card, and that one is for Ford Jensen. But it would have been nicer against a guy. Yeah. All right, so next up we've got Bummer Boy against Bummer Boy. Dad, have you ever had a canvas against this canvas? No, not a Young Guns. There's usually only one Young Guns canvas per box. Oh. Bummer Boy has a Young Guns of Garrett Sparks for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But there's like a bunch of regular Young Guns. Yep. And you'll be lucky if you have... A Jack's other pack has Colton Pareko, Portrait Rookie. And Jack moves on. So now we've got Bummer Boy against Wild Card winner Mario4363. Imagine if someone made um, a, a all, all hit pack. Bummer Boy is first. Everyone would just go nuts. Bummer Boy has a Troy Brower OPG parallel card. And Mario, who's got a pile of hits already in this break yes. from the Wild Card bracket. Oh, look at that. Mario's got a jersey card of Jonathan let Quick. Me see, let me see. So congratulations, Mario. You win the round. You're on to the next round. And you get the jersey bounty. And the jersey bounty in it's this break. Two a satellite. One for a regular box and one for, um, and one for, um, one Tournament the, of Champions. Yeah, one for the regular pack wars and one for the Tournament of Champions. So I'm just entering those satellites for you right now, Mario. Congratulations. Good day so far for Mario. He got the wild card and he's got the... Uh, Jersey. Jersey bounty. So over to this side. Once we get into the second round, just as a reminder, it is a triple threat. So three people triple against set. each other. So we're going to start with Harv G against Sean 1989 against Bummer Boy. So starting with Harv. Good luck, buddy. Okay, Harv. See what you got. Harv has a Young Guns of Yan Ruta. So that's a good start for Harv. Mm -hmm. Next up for Sean 1989. Yeah. He's got a canvas of Chris Kunitz. Let's see if the other guy can beat him or tie so it up. So Bummer Boy needs a Young Guns to try and challenge. Or he could be better than that. And he's got a base pack, unfortunately for Jack. Just double checking. That is all base. So Harv, congratulations. You are moving on to the semifinal. Next up, Bummer Boy's got another chance here against Shane Dog and Soccer Taz. Shane, Soccer Taz, Bummer Boy. So we're going to start with two-time Pack Wars champion Bummer Boy. Already got a couple of nice hits in this break. He's got an upper deck portraits of Denny uh, Gurianov. So that'll be a hit moving to the next round. Shane Dog is next. Shane Dog's got himself a Young Guns of Samuel Gerard. Nice hit there for Shane. So Shane looking to advance with that Young Guns pull. Soccer Taz is next. Soccer Taz needs to match the Young Guns, and he does not. He's got a Victor Mete Young Gun, or sorry, Marquee Rookie. And so that means Shane, congratulations. You are facing Harveg in the semifinals on the east side. Moving over to the west. First of all, we've got Bummer Boy against Leafs for Life against Gary E. Okay, Gary E. So Bummer Boy is up first. Bummer Boy has got a Young Guns. It is Mark Alt. For the Philadelphia Flyers. Next up, we have Leafs for Life. So Jack with a nice opening salvo there. Mike with Leafs for Life. Oh, look at this! Mike has a Matt Zuccarello Upper Deck Exclusives Gold numbered out of 100. So Leafs for Life has taken the lead, and Gary needs a Young Guns Canvas or better to try and beat that. If he gets a jersey, autograph, or memorabilia card, he will. it'll go to lowest base cards. 
So Gary has a Vincent Hinestroza marquee rookie. And that is going to mean that Leafs for life moves on to the next round. He gets the Hinestroza, the exclusives, and the Mark Alt. Congratulations to Mike. Gary had a good run into the triple threat. Hey, Felix. How's it going, bud? I have to do a job, Felix. Welcome here. I want a hockey. Next up, we've got four Jensen against Bummer Boy against Mario. You're not allowed those hits. Okay, I'll find you one in here. Here, Felix. Ice cards. All right, so first of all, four Jensen. Four Jensen. You've got a canvas of Radom Verbata. Then Bummer Boy is next. Jack with another chance to get into the semifinals. And this time Jack has a Jake Vertanen marquee rookie card. And Mario 4363 is next. So Mario from the wild card bracket. You've got yourself a Jared McCann portrait card. So we're going to have to go to lowest numbered base cards for this match. So Mario is first. He's got a 404. He's got a 310. And a 251 Andrew Cogliano. What if it was That is going to be tough to beat. Jack is going to need a 250. He's got a 252. So close. And 252 is the lowest card for Jack. For Jensen needs a 250. He has a 271. A 253. Look at that, you guys. 251, 252, 250. Hey, and they're all on the Anaheim Ducks. We finished off with a 251, a 252, and a 253. So congratulations. And they're all Anaheim Ducks. Congratulations to Mario. Moves into the semifinals. So we've got Harv against Shane on the east side. We've got Leafs for Life against Mario on the west side. Dad, has that Felix, ever happened? Felix, off the bed, okay? Um, we've never had three cards in a row like that. Nope. So next up, we're going to the semifinals. Shane against Harv. Good luck, you guys. Felix. Let me check the chat here if we've missed anything. I will too. Hey, Bummer Boy says hi, Felix. Hi. Felix says hi to Jack. Okay. So first of all, we've got Harv against Shane. Good luck, you guys. Narrowing it down here to the final four. So this is Harv's pack. Felix, you want to throw this in the garbage? Right there. Harv has himself an OPG of Jonathan Druan. It's my job. It's okay, Huds. You can help. Shane needs a Young Guns to move to the finals. Shane has a Young Guns of Christian Jaros. Congratulations, Shane. Harv had a good run, but Shane is into the finals on the east side. Congratulations. Next up, we have Leafs for Life against Mario4363, who is actually our wild card entrant this time. So starting off with the Leafs. Um, Boy mostly gets most of, the, um, of most of the spots in box breaks. Leafs for Life, you have a Upper Deck Checklist of Subban and Patrick Kane. Hey. Oh. Mario 4363, and that was a Canvas Checklist. Mario has a Young Guns of Gustav Olafsson. So for the second time in Pack Wars history, we've got a Wild Card entrant going into the finals. So congratulations, we've got Mario. I think same. Mario against no, no. Shane Dog. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, Senores y Senores Don Brazil and UFC fans watching around the world, live from the Sola HSBC Arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! All right, 
Good luck, Mario against Shane Dog. I was kind of standing there like an idiot. So, so let's start off with the challenger, Mario4363, looking to win his first tournament. Okay. Shane has won once before. Mario has a Young Guns of Clayton Keller. That is quite a nice hit there for Mario. He's also got a fluorescence Madison Bowie Number. numbered numbered out of 150. This pack is a pack for the ages, and that is going to be next to impossible. Next to impossible to beat. The only way Shane Dog can beat that pack is if he gets a Young Guns canvas card or better. So good luck to Shane Dog. What if he can get a UG? He's what got a big hill to climb here. Shane has an upper deck portrait of Vince Dunn. That means that Mario, for the second time in history, we have a wild card winner. Shane had a great run to the final, but what a final pack to end off with for Mario 4363. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. Mario. You're going to collect those three cards to add to your bounty. Good job, Mario. Shane was second place. That means he gets a Pack Wars Champions satellite into, Bye, the, into the Pack Wars Tournament of Champions. And Mario, please let me know via email which one of these card or boxes you would like as your prize. You get your own personal hobby box. Thanks for participating in the Pack Wars, you guys. Have yourselves a great rest of the week. And we'll see you next weekend for Pack Wars Tournament number 13.